On the Financial Aid homepage, select Financial Aid Portal. Here is your portal. From the dashboard, you can see an overview of your portal with quick links to your financial aid offers and needed documents. One of the most important features on your dashboard is your Satisfactory Academic Progress, or SAP status. This feature helps you know your eligibility for federal financial aid. To maintain eligibility, you must have at least a 2.0 GPA and a 67% completion rate of all courses required for your major. You can see the policy requirements here and how you compare to the requirements here. You will not have any information on this screen until after you complete your first semester. The Financial Aid tab shows your declared program and the academic year for your awards. The academic year can be adjusted from the current year to future or past semesters. Also in this tab, you can see the amount of credits you are registered for and how many of those credits are program applicable, meaning applicable towards your declared major. If your credits are not program applicable, they will not be eligible for federal aid, but you can still receive university and private scholarships for those credits. On this screen, you will also be able to view any awards you have been offered, including Pell Grants, YUI grants, and any other scholarships. You will also be able to see your loan offers. Subsidized loans must be accepted before any unsubsidized loans can be accepted. Hit review and update to accept or decline the loans. You can accept the full gross amount or a specific amount. Remember, if there are two semesters shown in your portal, the amount you accept will be split equally between the two semesters. Save your changes. Clicking documents will take you to a list of documents we need from you in order to process and offer your aid. This screen will always default to the documents currently needed. This screen shows verification documents we are requesting. Clicking review and update will provide directions and information directly from our verification team. If you are accepting loans for the first time, you must complete two loan requirements, direct loan entrance counseling and the master promissory note before your loans can be released to you. These requirements must be completed on studentaid.gov. To see if we have received your FAFSA, click show all documents. Clicking the communications tab will bring you up past emails generated from our system including missing documents emails, award letters, and SAP warning and suspension emails. Finally, the Useful Links tab has links to information and websites that will help you to better understand your aid.